Oh wait, this is this is a deck of playing cards, not a donut. Oh yeah, that has a spot. What up crew and welcome back to another deck review. <gasps> I'm a poet. It's actually been a while since I've done a deck review on this channel, so I'm pretty excited. Now before we begin, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Steve for sending me this prototype deck of playing cards before it's even released on Kickstarter. Thank you. That being said, let's do this. So today we'll be taking a look at this tasty Wicked Donuts deck produced by Wounded Corner and Cam Toner and designed by Alexis Grant. These playing cards are or will be printed by Legends Playing Cards on their ultra thin crush stock with a Viper finish. I mean, Viper finish, that sounds pretty, pretty awesome. Now to give you some backstory with this deck, Papa Leon's Wicked Donuts deck is all about nostalgia or recreating the memories from our youth. Whether it be doing things with close friends or family or heading on over to local spots for birthdays, breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even heading on over to the park to watch your local sports team crush the competition. In short, doing the things we love with the people who matter. Let's take a closer look at this deck. If you can't tell already by my intro or taking a quick glance at this deck, it's supposed to represent a tasty frosted donut with rainbow sprinkles. <sighs> I already want to eat another donut. No, I can't. I can't afford the calories. So I believe this donut... So I believe this deck will be available in three different flavors. That is vanilla, which is the one I have, chocolate, and strawberry. Quickly going over the flavor that I currently have. Of course, you can see the whole donut with this tuck case, the design with the front, back, and the sides. And then on the bottom of the deck, you see all the details that we already discussed. One thing that I thought was a really nice touch with this tuck case were the rainbow sprinkles. You probably can't tell on camera, but these are actually embossed. So when you run your fingers across, you get that very nice rainbow sprinkle feel. All right, so now that we've talked about the outside, let's see what this donut is stuffed with. Opening up the tuck case, right on the flap, it actually says wicked good with some sprinkles sprinkled on there. See what I did? Taking the cards out of the tuck case, the back design actually reminds me of a Jerry's Nugget deck. Check it out. But instead of Jerry's Nugget, we have the logo for Papa Leon's Wicked Donuts, which in my opinion is better. The color on the back of the deck that I currently have is a cream color, but I believe it'll also come in a pink and a white. The first, I guess, face-up card I see is an info card about the donut shop, Papa Leon's Wicked Donuts, Boston, Massachusetts. I did indeed do some research and found out, unfortunately, this place does not exist. I would have gotten in my car and drove if it was there. But I actually did find one Wicked Donuts shop located in Las Vegas. I don't think it's this one though, because there's some random devil lady sitting on a donut as the logo. I think this is slightly different. So what's cool about this extra card is that it tells a story about each of the characters in the deck, which kind of adds a bit more to the uh, nostalgia factor, giving it that extra nice touch. And I'll go through one of these stories just for fun. Let's just say the uh, King of Hearts, right? So the King of Hearts, uh, his name is Phil. He's Papa Leon's son. Phil wants to take over the shop and continue the family traditions. He's been helping his dad since he could climb on a chair. Good for you, Phil. Good for you. And if you really go through the artwork on these playing cards, you almost get that throwback type feeling with these playing cards. It's just, it's just done so well. I don't know what it is. It's done really well. And of course, the pips and the indices on this deck have a different color than the standard bicycle deck, just to fit the theme that these playing cards have, which makes complete sense. All right, so now we come over to the one, two, three, four aces. And uh, you can see that these have also been customized to fit the deck's theme. And then lastly, we end with the two custom jokers, which are rainbow sprinkle shakers, 
one standing up and the other one has been knocked down. I feel like it would have been really cool if the knocked down one had like a card reveal there, but that's just my magician brain thinking. Regardless, very nice design. Now, just a couple of thoughts I'd like to share as I start to wind down. First off, thanks again, Steve, for sending me this deck of playing cards for me to play around with. It's always, always an enjoyment playing with a new deck. So now, like I mentioned, these playing cards will be created on an ultra thin crushed stock, which would probably make them ideal for cardistry. I don't know how I'd feel about using them for card magic just because, I mean, it, it's a donut, right? I mean, who's gonna take you seriously? But you can bet my bottom dollar, if I'm ever hanging out at a diner, donut shop, or a coffee shop, I'm using these playing cards. This deck will be available tomorrow on Kickstarter, September 10th, 2022. And if you're watching this in the future, it's already available. I'll put the link to the Kickstarter down in the description for you guys to go ahead and back. It's always great backing hardworking creators in the community who put so much time, effort, and thought into creating a deck of playing cards. Always a pleasure having you guys here. Hope you have a great day ahead, and I'll see you really soon. Mm. I could do this all day. Oh, yeah. What am I gonna film? I don't know, I'm just gonna eat a donut instead. If it weren't for you, Steve, I would not be eating a donut right now. Thank you. Oh, yeah. All I ever need in life, donuts.